Hello and welcome to LSJ News. I'm Andrew Norris with your latest stories in Lincoln. Over the weekend, Lincolnshire was visited by Storm Kira, which included high winds and stormy weather yesterday afternoon. Burley Marsh, a 174-year-old Lincolnshire landmark, was struck by the 70-mile-hour winds, which then tore off the sails of the historic windmill. Power across Lincolnshire was also affected throughout the day. And Storm Kira has caused problems for the emergency services over the weekend as well. Lincolnshire Police received 240 calls related to the storm, and several roads around the county were closed, and police had help from volunteers, including the Lincolnshire Community Assistance Team, who helped remove fallen debris and trees. And the Department for Transport has announced funding for the Access Lincoln project until 2021. Access Lincoln aims to provide residents, commuters and visitors with more travel choices. This helps people to save time and money, leave healthier lifestyles and protect the environment. Councillor Richard Davies, Executive Member for Highways and Transport at Lincolnshire County Council, said that he's proud that Access Lincoln has played a part in changing the tide in how people think about coming to the city in their free time. And now for your LSJ Sport Weekend Review with Aaron Mayhew. Thanks Andrew. Lincoln City narrowly lost 1-0 to League One leaders Rotherham United on Friday evening. The Imps were dominant in the first half, but Matt Crook scored early on in the second for the visitors, who brought over 1,700 fans. Lincoln remained in 14th in Skybet League One, but have played more games than all of the teams below them in the table. I, I seen it as an easy game for us to be really up for the game tonight because you know the crowd were incredible, uh, the atmosphere was brilliant, um, and you'd expect players to be able to respond to that. They still have to produce football and play well, which I think they did. But in terms of the stuff out of possession, I expect that tonight. And I got it. It was good from that point of view. But they need to bring it again on Tuesday. Elsewhere, Lincoln United also played their division's table toppers as they failed to defeat against Leek Town. Charlie Wolford and Rob Stevenson both scored for the Staffordshire club as they increased their lead at the top of the Northern Premier League South East Division. The Whites, meanwhile, remain in 16th place and next face a trip to Sutton Coldfield Town. And in hockey, Linden men's first team were victorious on Saturday over Ben Ryden men's first team. The Yellows clinically beat their opponents 4-1 with Josh Pettinger scoring a hat-trick at Linden Sports Association. Linden men's have now moved up a place in the table to 7th, one place behind Ben Ryden in 6th. Really good, the uh, boys played really well together, had a game plan and just stuck to it. It got a bit of mess in the end, but just went through what we were told to do in training, and that was it. I think we had a game plan, we stuck to it, and that was maybe passing stick to stick, but that was, that's been a bit niggly, but now I think we played really well as a team. And finally, in women's football, Lincoln City women had their game against Birmingham and West Midlands postponed due to bad weather on Sunday. It was deemed unsafe to travel, so the match will be rearranged for a later date. And now for your weather. The Met Office issued a yellow weather warning for snow across Lincoln and other parts of the county today and we also saw some small amounts of snow falling. Today it has been cold and as I said we saw some short bursts of snow It reached a maximum temperature of 8 degrees. Moving into tonight it will be a clear evening with high winds with a minimum temperature of 0 degrees and tomorrow it's looking to be a much brighter day but it will still be feeling chilly with a maximum temperature of 5 degrees. And now that's all for this evening, but don't forget you can keep up to date with us on social media. You can follow us on Twitter at LSJ Tweets, or you can find us on Facebook and Instagram at LSJ News TV. We hope you have a very good evening. Bye for now.